go to our next section swap stations yeah um we anyways understand all of us the concept of swapping right that we are taking out the battery swapping it as and when it is needed so battery is not fixed but as per the use i am taking the battery from somebody if i am a user of the electric vehicle i am going to an operator and asking him that hey my battery is over give me another battery so the requirement is that uh, all those batteries for an operator the operator needs to charge them all together when he is charging all these batteries all together he needs to make sure that this conversion efficiency is very very high why because in portable charger as a user if i have one charger which is 80% efficient if efficient i am losing about 20% of power so the loss is about 20% but when he is using and if he has to use 10 20 30 40 100 100 such chargers in the rack and every if a uh, charger is 80% he is losing 20 times i mean 20% since that is a loss into n number of slot because that's that keeps on multiplying right that is where the efficiency becomes very very important and becomes very critical whenever we are talking about bulk charger so in portable charger you can get away with a low quality charger for a bulk charger you cannot because that will ultimately lead to higher uh, powers Uh, consumption and therefore his entire uh, uh, electricity bill goes for a toss okay so if if it comes out to be that actually eventually whatever you are using only 10% of it or 50% of it is going to the battery that means whatever battery is consuming as let's say one unit for which you will be paying about let's say 5 rupees but i am spending about 10 rupees to charge 5 rupee this thing so that is where uh, uh the efficiency becomes very important so see when we talk about chargers or talk about any technology in the field the technology and economics go hand in hand so we can't tolerate the inefficiencies in electronics because that gets translated into loss in business okay uh second part that we need to have communication with the battery communication with the server and why is that here very very important for the charger for portable for fixed batteries it is not mandatory or may not be that you need to have communication with the battery always or you need to have history of the battery also or analytics running onto it but when we are doing uh the job of a swap operator that becomes very important why as an operator if i have 50 batteries and i am distributing it to all of you then i can give you one battery to somebody which runs for 100 kilometers i can give a battery which runs for 50 kilometers i can give a battery which is 40 kilometers but all these batteries i bought one day similar specs all everything similar but because of its operational usages differently by different uh people their lives are different okay so as an operator when i give you the battery i need to make you a promise that this battery would last this much that is where the communications become very important to understand that what is the promise i am going to make as an operator to the user and that is possible only when i am keeping the history of the battery and performing the analytics on to that communication with the server because that is where i am leave i am keeping all the history of it and doing all the analytics reporting the charge battery status uh from the charger on to the if, if you can i don't know if it is visible but here if you see there are some interfaces so a display where the operator can figure out that which battery is charged to what level okay so i have to get the maximum charged battery uh to the user right and that's how it has to be uh, keeping uh, uh, i mean need to uh, keep flowing theft free operation which we call as lock smart batteries or commonly in our routine terms we use the term as ls battery now what does the ls battery do is that uh, for the swapping operation uh, how it becomes very important is that um, if i am a user he's an operator i'm going to him and telling that give me a battery he gives me a battery now it's my sweet wish i go back to him and return the battery or do not return the battery since i have taken the battery i may keep that battery at my home so i have not invested my capex into that battery 
still I'm using that battery, right? So it's a loss to him. It's a lot of gain to me, right? Now, I do not want as an operator that he loses all the asset that he has procured. So there's no business over. So in order to do that, what we use is a concept that is lock smart battery. So before he gives me a battery, he locks the battery seamlessly uh, with the vehicle. Okay, so that outside of the vehicle, I should not be able to use it in my UPS application or any other application and do not come to him again for charging. So what he does is actually, while issuing me the battery, he locks that battery with the vehicle where vehicle also has an intelligence that this battery would only be discharged in that vehicle. If you want to take it out and give it to your friend, it won't work. And if you want to try uh, to charge it at your home, it again won't be charged. So it is logged both for discharging, logged as uh, for the charging as well. So the battery gets locked to the charger, battery gets locked to the vehicle. That would mean that once I have used the battery, I have no choice but to go to this operator and say that, okay, you take this battery also and give me another battery and that goes for a cycle. So that is where we uh, uh, talk about this concept of LS batteries. Then paper use which is kind of affordable to the users because affordability is the key. That is where we are going for swappable batteries rather than fixed batteries. Economical sense to the service provider has to be there because uh, ultimately he has to make a business and there are a number of factors that come into account, especially from technology side of it, not purely from business, but how technology can aid to make his business profitable. And that's where this, this is there.